Hi folks, Max from Galaxy Note 3 Root.com for this week's ROM of the Week for the uh, SMN9005. Um, also, you can install it on T-Mobile or Canadian uh, along with Compulsion Kernel and the uh, NFC Fix. Um, I've got it also uh, installed on my T-Mobile Galaxy Note 3. This is the X Note uh, ROM and this is one of my favorite ROMs uh, ever. And uh, this has been uh, developed uh, by an uh, XDA user uh, I never say it right. Solo Il Melglio from Rome. I think that's the Italian name. Uh, but anyway, he's been making some excellent ROMs. I've uh, been actually using X Note ROM already on the S5 also, um, and the S4, Note 2. Um, pretty awesome ROM. And uh, you've probably noticed that I've got uh, a lot. Uh, I've changed the DPI here. This is actually 360 DPI. Uh, if you want to achieve this kind of um, DPI and have an 8x8 grid like I do here so you can put more apps. Uh, it does come with this thing called X Transformer app. Um, go ahead and change it to any DPI here. I believe the the stock DPI 480. Now is, as, as you pick smaller numbers it's gonna get you a higher resolution here which I picked 360 here you can go all the way down to 289 Fablet system UI that's gonna give you a nice uh, Fablet UI there. So very nice stuff. Um, and also you can use Nova Launcher. It does come with a themed, uh, it actually comes with a bunch of themed uh, TouchWiz launchers. Um, but I prefer Nova if you're gonna change the DPI like I did here. Um, Nova is a lot easier. You can go ahead and do a long press uh, and then go to desktop, change your desktop grid size there and also your drawer size there, uh, which is really nice. Now I can fit a ton of apps I don't even need folders. I just have everything on my home screen, everything I need. Um, so that's one thing really nice that you can customize the DPI. And of course, you, you can use Expose App Settings, which you can find in Expose Installer here. Go to the framework, uh, make sure you hit Install Update once, do not reboot yet, go to Modules, and then go ahead and enable uh, Expose App Settings here. And all these other modules, um, it also comes with, it also comes with uh, YouTube Addaway, um, exposed gel settings, Play Store fixes. Uh, this one sh probably should give you all the apps if you live outside the US. It should still allow you to see the US apps if you have that enabled. Um, Intella 3G manages your 3G connection. Greenify um, sort of saves your battery life. I don't really use it much. Gravity Box, uh, some additional UI customizations. Crappa Links, it removes crappy links. Uh, tracking links from your various apps so very nice stuff expose app settings you can use that along with the um, uh, what is this thing called the uh, X transformer app here to change your DPI uh, expose app settings you can go ahead now my my app uh, will look like this since I just changed the DPI the uh, font might have gotten smaller now if there's certain apps you want to make it bigger you can go ahead and use expose app settings uh, app to uh, make that bigger now that uh, I have a full tutorial guide on it, so check out uh, my post. It should be in the bottom somewhere uh, on how to use it. Um, and also, it does come with Zooey mod here, which is kind of nice. You can change uh, different. You can get some different animations here. Um, some additional customizations you can do there. Um, for running with T-Mobile or Canadian, uh, I've installed Compulsion Kernel. That's the only kernel I actually work with it. Um, if you're using SMN9005, uh, you do have a choice. This ROM does come with an Aroma installer. Um, there's an XNote kernel you can install, which is a nice kernel. Um, now, if you're using the T-Mobile or Canadian, go ahead and download the Trickster Mod app. This is the app I recommend for overclocking um, your phone. Go to Tools General, and you can use this app on any um, Android device. Um, go ahead and put Frequency Lock on. Uh, I do recommend about 2.49 gigahertz overclocking and make sure you hit that button. And also if you want to set it on boot, make sure you hit kernel settings on. That will overclock it when you reboot. And also there's a bunch of different, different governors you can play with. Oh my god, look at that. I love compulsion kernel. Um, I think you can also use it on SMN9005. Um, so yeah, it's not just for T-Mobile. You can go ahead and install on SMN9005. Um, so very nice stuff. Also does come with Viper for Android, which is my favorite. You can go ahead and uh, customize the heck out of your audio on your phone. I have a full tutorial guide on that also. A lot of things to cover. There's a lot of features on this ROM. Um, you'll find everything in the XNote control app here.
go to Xnode panel, uh, you'll find floating pen, window app, and multi-window manager app, which allows you to add all of your favorite apps um, to your multi-window or floating pen window. Also, for a uh, multi-window mod on, make sure you enable this reboot. And what you can now do is get uh, four quad windows on there. So I'm gonna get uh, my browser on there, my gallery on there, uh, let's get my Twitter on there. Uh, let's get my Facebook on there. Um, so this is a great way kind of multitask and you, you're gonna get back to people on Facebook, uh, maybe get back to people on Twitter, um, go to different websites, or maybe you have a, you know, maybe you're trading Bitcoins right now, you go to BTC-E and you wanna always have, um, you wanna always be trading while doing something else. Uh, the screen on the Note 3 is so big that quad screen may make sense and make, may make help you um, do better at multitasking so all this good stuff I know it can be overload for some of you but some of you may love this um, a Roma installer that comes with you will have choice of installing Apex Nova or the TouchWiz uh, again the TouchWiz does come with themed uh, like five different themes so a ton of stuff you can do um, obviously I can't go all of them but let me go ahead and show you the rest of the Xnote uh, control here uh, Pi gesture settings this is your Pi control if you enable this I also have a full tutorial guide on this. Yes, I have like tutorial guide for pretty much um, everything. Now, not everything, but I'm working on it. Uh, you can change the gravity position to the right. There you go, and I've got my Pi control. You can go ahead and um, customize this. Of course, just check out my tutorial guide. It is very detailed and you'll be able to use it in no time. Um, some additional settings here, uh, add disabling um, if you don't wanna, if you don't block ads. Also, if you go to extra in X note uh, control here, um, you can change the ripple circle preferences, touch with launcher options, uh, scrolling wallpaper, uh, infinite scroll, ink effect, um, touch with launcher theme changer. This is where you can change the themes. Look at all these six, uh, nine different themes you can choose from um, if you're using uh, touch with launcher. And also your battery icon, you can go ahead and change it to a cool, uh, blue Android guy there and uh, battery bar if you want it um, complete status bar switch uh, X no customize this is another thing where you can enable stuff like double tap to sleep um, home button wake show network speeds you can see the sh uh, network speeds on the left upper corner and you can enable cool widgets like the CPU widget I've got here which shows you uh, how much how many CPU cores are being used at at one time so a lot of stuff color if you want to change colors look at all these options you can change the colors pretty much for everything if you need additional let me go ahead and clear this away if you need additional um, toggles on top of these and um, you want them just on the bottom or something you can go ahead and enable this and go to toggles let me go ahead and enable Wi-Fi Bluetooth uh, NFC for the first row and then for the second row I'm gonna go ahead and enable uh, sound silent I'm just doing this random brightness menu um, GPS whatnot and then instantly you should have um, two different uh, toggles there also so additional toggles uh, sound boost levels if you want boosted sound gain you use your note 3 as a speaker all the time listening to Pandora or your favorite uh, dubstep uh, you know what's what's tight right now uh, anyway, you can go ahead and choose boosted sound gain and you will get some very good uh, like 10 20 decibels of sound boost um, Which is gonna be great and there's a ton more stuff, but I can't really get into it um, overall. It is a really fun uh, From and also it does come with Android 4.4.2 KitKat launcher if you want it um, now you can see I've got uh, the regular uh, DPI there but uh, back to my Nova launcher, which is probably my favorite. Um, so pff, very nice stuff. Um, a ton of features, customization, Xnote ROM is for those of you who want to go all out. Um, and this ROM is great because with all these features, mods added in, uh, the ROM has no bugs, you know, it runs flawless. Um, so definitely should help you out, you know, in your experience making your phone better. Um, yeah, I did mention Viper for Android there. Anyway, um, check it out for this week's Round of the Week for the SMN9005 Team Mobile Canadian. Uh, and do let me know what you think, but I think you guys will love it. I love it. This is one of my other daily drivers. Um, and yeah, don't forget to donate to the developer of this ROM. And as always, if you have a Note 3, 
Uh, don't forget to sign up for my email list at galaxynote3root.com and I will see you guys soon. Uh, stay high on Android and I'm, I'm going to be uploading a lot of videos um, to my main channel, youtube.com slash zetomax, so check them out. I'm going to try to make them as funny as possible. And also I've got uh, ACC1 M8 that just arrived today, so I'll have unboxing later today. Um, yeah, that's it. And stay high on Android.